Hey guys, and welcome to part 4. Now we're gonna get our first shield. I uh, said in part 2 that you can get this Hutian shield uh, down by the village on the Easter Sand. That was uh, my bad, because you can't get it there. You can get it, however, right off the bat from um, the Damascus Easter Sand, right when you enter from Rabanastra. Just go down here this route and there will be a little corridor inside uh, the canyon here. I'm just making some work with my two gladius here. Just see how much damage it does to the cacti. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> Almost 800. But right over here will be a chest and it can contain the Excudian shield. I get it right here. If you don't get it after opening this chest, just soft reset and start back from the save point at Ravenastra. If you saved your game here, of course. <laughs> I suggest you get two right here because you have the Gladius, that's a one-handed, so you can combine it with shields. And that's the only shield you can get right now. The Excution shield. Now if you didn't do the gladius thing to get two of those, you can get another uh, strong mace if you like to use maces. Uh, you steal them from the El Rauner. Right here you can steal a mace from them. Now I don't use, use maces, but uh, if they are your thing, you can get it here. I think it has around 24-27 attack power. I'm gonna check it out right now. I think. Yeah, it has 24 attack power and 10 in eBay, so it's not a bad choice. Yeah. But uh, I'd, I'd, I'd choose the Gladius. <laughs> now we're gonna chain some Ostrix. If you chain those, you can get a headgear as a rare drop from them. But as you do this, you must be very careful not to run into the. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Fideliant. You see, he, he was right there on my screen. <laughs> because he can kill you very easy on, on low levels. But uh, just chain them. Yeah. Don't pick up the loot until it gets to level 3 and you will have the head here in no time. I get it right here. It's uh, I got a pointy head off from a chest somewhere, but uh, the head gear is actually a little better. It has... Um, what? I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna find the license point first. I I already learned it. It's right number two of the. I think it's light armor. Yeah. And it gives you. It gives you a, a HP HP boost of around. Yeah, it's only thirty, but uh, that's actually a lot at this point in the game. So uh, get a couple of those at, as well. Now we get to the hard part. Go to the Geese of Plains and locate the werewolves. They will be listed as red because they are very hard at your current level to beat. So what you're gonna do is, is send Pinolo or Vaughn over and, and steal from them and then lure them out after you. There are two of them, of them and they will both change you, <laughs> chase you. The thing you're gonna do is you wanna get them uh, as I do here so there's only one left. And then just attack him with all you got. Two Gladius really helps here. It'll do around 500 each hit. And he will go down in seven, six or seven hits. Six hits, yeah. Just pick up the loot you will have. Now, it's it's not a high percent. It's a 1% chance of getting the Kotetsu Katana at this point. It's a low chance, but that's not the main the main reason we are killing those, that's because of the experience points. You will change, change those, uh, or sorry, you will kill the werewolves for, um, to, to get a lot of experience points. And you will rise in level in no time. I think I rise 10 levels just killing those two guys. But the thing you want to watch out for, don't steal from them as I, I do, they don't have anything good. And what I get for it is a smite of rage. And that will do almost 700 hit points and kill you instantly. Unless you have more health, health points than that. <laughs> I didn't so I died. But uh, after you kill the two just find the nearest save point and heal up. And save if you prefer. You could, th This could uh, 
end up with a game over if you don't watch out, so I suggest you save every time. Now, after leveling up so you get around level level 18 to 20, you're strong enough to kill them both in, uh, and, and start chaining them, I mean, but still, um, kill only one at a time, because if you, if you go up against both of them, you'll have a big chance of getting KO'd by the smite of rage by one of them. And if you're chaining them, you want to save those uh, phoenix down. So right here, I get KO'd and I have a 17 chain. I don't like that because now I have to use my hard-earned phoenix down. <laughs> I only got two left, so uh, if you don't get the Kotetsu before you run out of phoenix downs, that's too bad. You gotta do it all again. So, um... Stock up on Phoenix Downs before you do this. Again, you can uh, steal them from. No, get them as a rare drop from the cockatrices down by the East Sand too. But other than that, just chain them until you get to level three. Don't pick up the loot. And when you get to level three, knock yourself out, pick it up. You'll have a three percent chance of getting the Kotetsu Katana. Here I have a little problem. I let Warm do the work, and I get the Kotetsu. 19 chain before I get it. It's It will be the strongest weapon in your inventory at this point. It has a uh, 50, 50 attack power, and I don't think it has something like 5 in weight or something. I don't have the license point to get it right now, so uh, I have to work on that. <laughs> but uh, it list is listed... Uh, down yeah somewhere <laughs> but it yeah it has five in weight and 50 in attack power so it's very very good at this point uh, against bosses and so on so uh, I suggest you get at least one of those well that's it for part four I'll see you back on part five